they're predicting that welding for the next 20, 30 years is going to be the trade to be in to make the most money. You can get a job that pays $15 an hour, you can get a job that pays all the way up to $70, $80 an hour. It just all depends on your experience and how good of a welder you are. A report I just read that in the next two years they're going to be 290,000 welders short. We have a basic welding course that goes up to what we call a B-class welder, which is a shield metal arc or a stick welder on pipe. And then they have the opportunity to come and do the fee base advanced course. And we really want them to do that because that's where our bread and butter is. That's where we've built our name. And we had four kids go to Minnesota last summer and all of them made over $50,000 for the summer. And they come back and these new students, and even their students that they went to class with, sees their check stubs, and sees how much money they're making. So it inspires them. It's awesome. You make a good bit of money. It started out with me with the five kids, and we went from five to 14, to 17, to 23, and then we bumped up there to 53, and then that's when we hired Melford Sims, and then we bumped up to 100, and we recently hired a fourth instructor. Public schools, we're one of the largest in the country. For the most part, if you look around, we got the best technology that's out there. We're just really fortunate to have that because a lot of schools, they don't have it. Probably about 10% book work, practical side, you know, it's 90%. It's mostly hands-on. We do have dual role students, so uh, they can learn a trade, and then while they learn a trade, do their academic courses and decide if they want to go to college. We really like the young kids coming in. They tend to uh, love the program, and they're kind of like little brothers. Kind of really neat to see how the older students take care of them. I didn't know anything about welding. I learned so much from everything I've done here. I started off running beads and now I'm doing 6D pipes. Just running roots all the way around from bottom to top. It's great. We uh, started welding in high school. I was 14 years old. That's been 36 years ago. And I was inspired by my uncle, who was a union boilermaker for 47 years. Kind of like my hero growing up. You know, listening to people talk about how good he was as a welder, the best on the job. So it was kind of inspiration to me to be the best that I can be. I worked the nuclear power plants. I worked the uh, fossil fuel plants. I worked a gas transmission cross country where they don't take anything but the very best. And if you can't make it, one or two bus welds, you're gone. You know, and that's where I try to lead my students at because I know that's where the money's at. And we got, I mean, a good amount of kids. Most of them are union welders making well over 100,000 a year. Well, a good welder can ride his ticket, can go anywhere and go to work. And right now, if you're good, you can go make the money. They're paying it right now because they can't find it.